Two crucial battleground states, Michigan and Wisconsin, have declared Joe Biden the winner, pushing him closer to the electoral votes needed to win the presidency. And right now, Joe Biden has 264 electoral votes compared to the president's 213. And of course, we're still awaiting results from several states, including Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, Nevada, and Alaska, which aside from Alaska are all swing states. But we want to bring in Fox 5 political analyst Carl Luna to help break it all down. He has a look at where this race stands. Carl, those two states, Michigan and Wisconsin, obviously very crucial wins for Joe Biden, but it's not over till it's over, is it? That, that's kind of reestablishing the blue wall that Democrats thought they had in 2016, Maria. The, the, typically, those states have gone Democrat. Joe Biden was able to get a big turnout in Detroit, in Milwaukee. Those ballots came in, well, not later, but they were counted later because they were mail-in ballots in large city areas, which is why you had that blue shift. You started off with President Trump ahead, and then that slowly eroded, which has been producing backlash on his side. Well, President Trump's campaign is obviously vowing to legally challenge all of the results called in some battleground states. What are the chances that he'll go through with that, and, and do they have any basis? Well, the chances they can, well, they'll go through with that are absolute. They've already filed lawsuits in Michigan and Pennsylvania, continuing the lawsuit about the three-day extension that was granted for by the state for ballots to arrive. They hope to take that back to the Supreme Court. But the other lawsuits... Uh, one, they have to show cause and standing uh, in state courts or in federal district courts. For those cases, you just don't show up at the Supreme Court that, that the president may have been implying and say, here the case. There's a process. It took weeks for the case in uh, Bush v. Gore to move out of the Florida courts and state Supreme Court to the United States Supreme Court. And at every step, you have to show that there are grounds for doing so. Uh, and you can't just sue on the on, for the heck of it. It's a high bar to clear, especially since you're going to have to do it for the Trump campaign in multiple states. It's not just Florida on the line. Uh, there's multiple ways Joe Biden can win at this point. Uh, and if you're filing in three, four, five states, uh, the, the justices eventually may just say, let's kick it back to the political side and, and we don't want to touch it. Well, most of the ballots that are left to count are mail-in or absentee. Um, do you have any idea when we could see this race called? Uh, well, you're already seeing bit by bit results are trickling in to call it. The problem is uh, you don't usually have like there, there's no Wizard of Oz who comes out and declares the election is over immediately. You've got to have the electors vote in December. The, the, it's not really certified till it reaches the House in January. But usually when the writing's on the wall, the candidate who's behind says, OK, good fight. We try again in a future day. That may not happen. As long as the, the, the president is seen as being behind the electoral vote, if Joe Biden is seen uh, generally as having gotten over 270, if the president says, I am questioning it, uh, it's not over. It lasts until such time as the House certifies it, and then Inauguration Day, Joe Biden puts his hand on the Bible, and the moving company comes to take the Trumps back to New York. We'll have to see how that plays out. Well, there is a question, though. I mean, obviously, he's at 264. We need 270. President Trump at 213. Uh, is there a path for the president to win in any way? The only way the president wins right now is to basically take everything that's left on the table. The North Carolinas, Georgias, Pennsylvanias, uh, even Nevada. He needs all of it to get up to 274. All Joe Biden needs is Nevada or any other one state. Uh, that's why they've heard a lot more rhetoric about moving to challenging the results in Wisconsin. The, the president's campaign has asked for a recount, though they did that in 2016 to see if they had a bigger margin. And I think that yielded like 200 additional votes for Donald Trump. Recounts rarely overturn the original uh, verdict, and courts are really leery to do so as well. So, it, again, the handwriting is not looking good in the long term for the president. How we get to the point, if we get to the point where the president has lost and he accepts it, remains to be seen. Carluna, always helping break it down for us. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you.